Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at another Nintendo eShop video. We're going to be focusing on some of the best releases directly to the eShop over the last few months. Now, as I said in my previous video, I'm normally more of a physical collecting guy. However, with this year, the lack of physical releases on the Switch, I've really been digging more into the eShop. And over the last few months, there's really been a lot of great releases of games going directly to the eShop without actually getting physical releases. So today we're not going to be focusing on games necessarily that are on sale, but just really some of the best releases over the last few months. And generally speaking, none of these games will have actual physical versions available, except maybe if there was like a release through limited run games, but I don't really count those as mainstream releases. So let's get started, and don't forget that if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see some more content. So once again today, we're going to be starting really strong, with the Angry Video Game 1 and 2 Deluxe. Now this game was actually just released yesterday, depending on when you watch this video, basically October 30th, and I've been waiting for it for quite a few months. Why? Because these are not only re-releases of the original two games, but they've really been improved, the levels have been changed, and even some of the content has been changed to be more in line with the show. To most of you out there, the Angry Video Game nerd probably doesn't need an introduction, but if you don't know who he is, basically check out his YouTube videos. It's time well spent. He basically reviews in a comedic fashion all retro games. And that's why this game is an awesome action platformer done in sort of a 16-bit style. And even though the main attraction I would say for this game is if you're a huge fan of the show, even someone who doesn't know what the Angry Video Game Nerd is, if you appreciate action platformers, you know, sort of like a Mega Man and whatnot, you are going to love this collection. And for only $15, it's a steal. It's really a great game collection. Now, the next game on my list probably flew under a lot of people's radars, and that is Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Now, this is another retro-styled RPG. Like I said, it would, it would be most similar to the SNES era. The gameplay is really solid, but what is the best point of this RPG is the comedic storyline. It has a really funny, edgy storyline, sort of along the lines of Simpsons slash Futurama humor. And I love that type of humor, and so far I'm loving the storyline. And for only $9.99, this game is a steal. Like, this is a RPG that is just going to keep you coming back and back just because that storyline is so darn funny and they just break the fourth wall on a regular basis where you the characters just are aware that they're in a game. Now the next two games on my list, I almost feel like I'm cheating because they were featured in the last a mini direct that came out from Nintendo this week, but they are re-releases of No More Heroes 1 and 2, and these are great, great action games. If you've never played a hack and slash action game like No More Heroes before, it's a great way to get started. The storyline and basically the world is so out there and so over the top that there's no way you can't just fall in love with this series. And with No More Heroes 3 right around the corner, it's the perfect time to get started on this series. And at $17.99 for each, when these were full-priced releases back on their original consoles, it's a steal to be able to play these games. And hey, they're already 10% off on sale which I just know they want to push people to play the game so that the hype gets even higher for the third one that is going to be releasing probably at the beginning of 2021. Now, the next game on the list was also featured in the last mini direct, but it's in a totally opposite spectrum. And that was part-time UFO. When I watched the mini direct, I was really unsure about this game. But it seemed so interesting and they used it at the end of the mini direct as sort of an anchor right before Hyrule Warriors that I'm like, mm, if Nintendo's putting this as an anchor to their video in the last two games, it's because they are pretty solid on this being a really decent game. And at only $9, I said, why not? Let's take the plunge. And honestly, this is an awesome, awesome puzzle game. And what's really what I really like the most about this is that if you want a really decent two-player game that will bring you hours and hours of relaxing fun, Part-Time UFO is a one-of-a-kind experience. And it's really too easy to pick up with 
basically a friend or a child of any age. So part-time UFO at only $9 is one of the best releases in my opinion on the eShop in the last you know few months. Now the next video on my list was also featured in my recent video of great Nintendo Switch games that were on sale and it's still on sale for 20% off and that is Pumpkin Jack. Now Pumpkin Jack is another action platformer and honestly it's one of the best new franchise games that have come out in the last few months. Now I'm talking about it again and it's partially for selfish reasons because I want to make sure that this game gets a follow-up. It's that good. You play basically as Pumpkin Jack who is tasked with killing a sorcerer and basically the, the storyline is pretty simplistic. However, what really puts this game on a huge pedestal is the awesome platforming, the awesome action, the, the art style is one of a kind and it really brings you back to that medieval feeling if you've ever played that on the PlayStation series. I said that in my last video and it's still the same thing. This is an awesome game and at $24, like I would have easily paid up to $50 for this release and still felt like I had a good time and that it was worth it. So at $23.99, like this game is a steal and it is, in my opinion, once again, one of the best games that have released directly to the eShop in the last few months. Now we're actually getting pretty close to the end of my list, but the last two games that I want to look at are actually really big ones. And even um, on this list, I think they're among some of the strongest games that have come out lately. And the first one that I want to look at is Hades. If you've never played Hades before, it's a roguelike dungeon crawler. You basically play as the son of the underworld and your point is to escape from the underworld. However, as a roguelike, the stages are going to change every time you play the game. And the way the game works is that you have to die repeatedly. However, each time you're reborn, you're reborn stronger and stronger because you keep the stats that you've accumulated. So every time you replay, you manage to get a little bit further, a little bit further, and a little bit further, till eventually you manage to escape from the underworld. And uh, since it's a roguelike game, every time you are reborn, the gameplay is gonna change, the stages, the layouts are gonna change, but you get stronger and stronger, you get more and more abilities, keeping the game fresh every time. Hades has come out on the PC actually quite a few months ago and I'm so glad it released on the Switch because having this game on the go in a handheld format is amazing for putting in a few hours here and there when you're on the go. It's an amazing game. It's one of the best games not only on the Switch but I would say in the roguelike you know, genre to release in the last year. It's one of the best overall all consoles combined. So if you haven't tried Hades yet, give it a whirl for only $20. This is an awesome value. Now the last game on our list is going to be Carrion. And it's the game with the concept that is the most out there on today's list. Carrion is basically a reverse horror game. Instead of playing the human or the hero trying to stop the scary monster, you're playing the scary monster trying to kill all the humans. And basically it plays sort of like a Metroidvania game where you have to sort of get X ability to be able to proceed further and further in your escape of the underground lab that you've been basically trapped in by the humans. And at first you feel powerful and unstoppable and all the humans are basically easy prey and the way you grow stronger and stronger is by devouring all the humans you can find. But what's awesome about this game is as the game goes along, the humans get wiser, more powerful, better equipped. And rather than just feeling like a monster that can tear everyone apart, you actually have to start using strategy to lure the humans into corners and be able to devour them in more inventive and inventive ways. And honestly, if you haven't tried Carry On yet, this is the kind of game that everyone should try at least once. And I, I bet that the majority of you out there will fall in love with it. So that's pretty much it for today's list. Obviously, I haven't tried every game on the eShop and that's why I'd love to hear from all of you. If there's games I've missed, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to get around to trying as many as possible and who knows, maybe they'll be featured in a future video.
Also, if you end up buying any of the games on this list and would like to share your comments with all of us, please leave that down below as well. Lastly, as I said earlier, if you like this content, please don't forget to hit the like on this video. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already and don't forget to activate that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.